Hello, Dr. Camp here again, and we're going to go over another example. This time we're going to do example 3.3, and we're actually going to be looking at visualization of some data, and we're going to be doing a lot of XY scatter plots. XY scatter plots are great because you tag an X value and a Y value together, and when you just throw them at a graph, you're able to see clustering of data and things that are going on. XY scatter is used a lot in data visualizations, used a lot in engineering. I mean, this is something that's going to pop up many different places. And one of the great things is, is we can start adding what are called trend lines to XY scatter plots. And that is basically we have a line that tries to predict the behavior of the equation. And some of the stuff we'll be using a little bit later when we're dealing with linear regression, but we'll get to that. So we've got these questions that we're going to answer. We're exploring the impact of age on earnings and are there any patterns. Uh, and the same thing, we're going to be looking at a bunch of different data. I'm assuming you can read the questions that are there, so I don't need to do it. So let's go. Here is our data that we've got. And we have ranks, players, and all these different uh, statistics and you will see there's some comments on there if you don't golf so rank and earnings uh, tour events is how many uh, how many events they played rounds uh, round of golf is 18 holes cuts made basically all tournaments you have to make the cut to keep playing to get to play the last two rounds greens and regulation that is basically talking about the percentage chance that you make uh, a GIR, green and regulation. Basically what that is, is every single hole that is set up in golf has something called par, and it's either par 3, 4, or 5. You are expected to two-putt every hole. So if you have a par 3 and you're expected to two-putt it, that means that you have one swing or one stroke to get it on the green, and that would be a green in regulation. So a par 5, you'd have three swings to get there. And so that's what that is. Uh, and uh, eagle is that you put it in a... You got it in the hole and two under the strokes so for a par five an eagle means that you swung the club three times and got it in the hole on a par three that would be a hole in one a birdie means that you did it in one under par so on a par five you got it in four par would be you hit it in the exact number that you needed to and bogey means that you went one over so a par five if you took six anyway so that's what all the terms mean that's all the data so we're going to go here to review and we are going to I want to hide all there we go click on that show all comments to have it all go away and so now they're they're still there if you highlight it it shows up but we kind of got that out of the way so let's go right in the beginning and put together the the first plot that will make things uh, it's a pretty quick simple one and so what we have is impacts of age so they wanted to know did the impact of age affect earnings so what we're going to do if we go back to the prompt uh, number of events and earnings so we've got two different ones there so we are going to select our data now the important thing to remember XY scatter plot you have to have the exact same number of X values as you do Y values and that's going to make a big difference because if you have one more or one less it's going to mess up the graph so what we want to do is we're going to look at number of events and uh, we'll go pre highlight that and then we'll hit control and look at age. In fact, they're right next to each other, so we're just going to grab both of them. And then we'll go insert. XY scatter is this guy right here. There's a lot of different ways. Typically, uh, depending on what you're doing, will depend on which one of these you're going to use. We're going to be using our we're going to be using our just uh, regular scatter chart, and it put things kind of on the X and the Y just like I wanted it to do. Now, if we all the way up here to the the title part you'll see events all the way on the right side here age was on the left and so basically what that kind of does is 
the first one in the row, the age. We'll usually typically throw it on the X, and then everything else will be on the Y. But you can always fix that too. So we're going to move that chart. Uh, we're going to make it an object in. So let's make it a, a new chart because I do like having it like this. We're going to rename this Q1 Part A. We need some axes. So let's throw in the axis titles. And this is number of events. And then down here would be age. Now, actually, I'm just thinking about it now. Probably since we're going to be looking at two charts side by side, let's not put this as its own thing. So we're going to move chart, and we're actually going to stick it into answers. OK. Slide that up there. So that's our events versus age. And so now we want to do earnings versus age. So we go back to our data. And we are going to grab grab all the age data, control, grab all the earnings data, insert, XY scatter, and there we go. So once again, the first row here is our X, the second row is our Y. We're going to move that to our answers. And we'll put that right next to it. Let's get our axis titles in there. And so age. And over here will be our earnings. I'm going to get rid of the title here. And so now as we're looking at this, we see the, the scatter plot. So basically, let's look at events and age. I look at things. Over here, I, there seems to be no noticeable trend or anything because it's just kind of all over the place. So it seems like age and number of events played, there's not really anything interesting going on there. So now if I, if I look at over here, and I look at my earnings versus age, now I actually do see some difference. Because if you look at it, the younger players, because anything that's really in the top end, really it looks like it's all happening under 40. And actually, somewhere in the 20s is a majority of the high-end salaries. So just quickly here, we can look and go, okay, well, age doesn't really matter for number of events, but it does appear that age does matter with the amount of money that you're going to make. Okay. And so that's how we can quickly look at that. Let's go back. Our second question, does impact driving, and that is yards per drive and driving accuracy, have impact on earnings? Okay, well, let's take a look at it. We're going to do the same thing. And so now what we're going to look at is earnings versus yards per drive. Now, there is going to be a slight issue with this one. And what I say with slight issue is if you look down at row 35, there is some blank data there. XY scatter, what did I say? I said that you have to have an X and a Y or it's not going to work out well. Well, we're going to be doing earnings and yards per drive. There's a blank spot there. That's not going to work out well for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to clean this data up a little bit to use those scatter plots. So we'll come over here, and we'll call this clean, or clean data. We want to really be keep it good on clean data. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to pull over stuff that I'm going to be using so I can clean that up. And so a couple of things that we're going to be looking at is earnings, yard per drive, driving accuracy, and actually the next problem is going to be dealing with putting. So putts per hole. So I'm going to, I want to grab all this stuff here. And so uh, we'll hit earnings, yards per drive, driving accuracy. I'm going to hold control, grab putting average. I'm just going to right click and copy this. And 
and we'll just paste it down here. Now I know there's some uh, shortcuts for for a lot of this stuff on the keyboard. I know especially other members of the faculty really like using them. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I do use some shortcuts, but I, I just I guess I'm a little bit too used to clicking on things. But anyway, so what we're going to do is I want to add my filter in here. So if I go to data and click on filter, I've added my filters in there. So why do I want to do that? Because I'm going to want to sort from smallest to largest. Now notice, huh, I was expecting some blank stuff there. I don't know why I go to Excel. Blanks are apparently bigger than everything else. But, you know, that's that's what they want. So just keep that in mind that blanks are the largest thing you can have. And I'm just going to copy all those. I think it's control minus. Yeah, control minus would be the delete. So see, I, I do know some of the uh, some of the shortcuts. And so now what I want to do is I'm going to want to do, we're going to do our earnings versus our yards per drive. So I'm just going to highlight these first two. And then go insert. I'm going to insert scatter plot. Now, if we look at it, it's like, oh, the earnings was on the bottom there. Because remember, that first row is going to be the X. I'll show you how, we'll, we'll fix this here in a second, but let's, let's move this into our answers chart. Hit OK. And I dropped it all the way down here. It's another reason why you typically like to do it's on its own sheet. And so we just kind of, kind of got to push it up here. I guess I could have cut and pasted, but that's okay. Come on. Okay, maybe Control X for cut. Took too much time. Control V for paste. So we're going to go in here and we're going to go to select data. And we're going to switch the rows and the columns. Oops. Well, that did not work like I wanted it to work. Oh, because that's not doing what I thought it did. Anyway. So let's go fix this at... This is um, one of the reasons I will a lot of times just build my charts with a blank chart and then insert the data later is to avoid stuff like this. But since the one all the way to the right is going to be... Or the one all the way to the left is going to be our X value, let's just cut... We'll paste, uh, insert the cut cells here. So now this will be on the right. So as I do this, that will all, that earnings are always going to be my y-axis then. So we'll go back, insert, x, y, scatter. And so there we go. That's more what we were expecting. Control X, since it's not wanting to go to the spot. I wanted to control V. And let's kill the earnings. Let's add our axis titles because we always need those. So we always got to know what we're talking about. Salary, or sorry, not baseball anymore, earnings. And then this was our yards per drive. And then let's go back to our clean data. We're going to do the same thing for accuracy. Especially for, I, I don't select the whole column, just select the data, insert, and we're going to go X, Y, scatter there, control X to cut it, control V to paste it. We'll do the same thing to clean this up because we need our titles. And so this is going to be accuracy percentage driving accuracy in percentage and then we have earnings okay in the next video we're going to analyze this data and we're going to start building off the other stuff